I think when the COVID pandemic hit, uh, most organizations tried to enable work from home for their employees. And cloud was the biggest platform available to make that happen. So the first three, four weeks after the pandemic hit and the lockdown started, uh, organizations worked on enabling work from home for people. And that's when they realized that uh, while they could do many things and continue business, that they needed to also think about or the employee transformation using the power of digital in a big way. So the first was the work from home. Then they started looking at transforming the experience for their own employees, which was very important because they realized that uh, they were not ready for it. And, and they used this opportunity to embark on their journey. At the same time, and these are all phase two. Phase one was work from home. Phase two was about employee experience, also about coming up with newer business models so that they can reach out to uh, their own uh, customers uh, and make sure that they're able to deliver the products and services. Uh, I think uh, they started looking at alternative business models, how they can enable uh, the customers and the services and uh, products which they offer. Last but not the least, this pandemic has also, in some sense, opened the eyes of uh, all the enterprises and the CXOs. And they started asking questions about how can I bring in resiliency apart from agility and cost advantage which cloud really brings. So resiliency has become a big focus area for our businesses and cloud was a big enabler of the resiliency. One is, I think as uh, you might know, Cobalt is an end-to-end service offering from Infosys and, and the biggest differentiator uh, within my mind is the uh, existing assets which we take to market. Uh, uh, if you look at the cobalt, it has got underlying about 14,000 assets, uh, which are consisting of the business assets, engineering assets, uh, the learning assets, and the knowledge assets. I want to spend time on the uh, business and engineering assets. Uh, these help organizations accelerate uh, their movement into cloud and, and also accelerate the transformation of their business models. We have well over 200 uh, business and engineering assets in this uh, cobalt platform today. Uh, some examples I can give if I look at the business side, which is which is very essential. So most people looked at cloud as a cost takeout play and, and agility play, but equally cloud is also about innovation. And, and uh, some of these business assets we have are helping accelerating the innovation agenda for clients. Uh, we have some assets, for example, I can talk about uh, the, the uh, remote equipment monitoring system we have which we implemented for oil and gas customers. But today we see that uh, the adoption of that remote equipment monitoring solution over the cloud is applicable for many manufacturing industries. So that is one example of how you can come up with an application, a business application, leveraging the power of cloud, and then expand it to a wider uh, client base. And then some of our customers are able to use this asset as it is and accelerate their own adoption of this solution. Likewise, we're talking about uh, boundless shopping experience where we use the power of again technology and visual analytics and help the customers uh, uh, study the customer behavior study the shopping behavior and tailor their products and services we're talking about uh, end of the day reconciliation for banking customers where with the power of cloud uh, we have a solution which help uh, banks and financial institutions to accelerate the end of the day processing we of course have uh, in fact a bank in a box on the cloud where many use cases which are typically used in commercial banking and retail banking are readily available uh, in a deployable format uh, for uh, businesses to exploit. So there are uh, many business assets like that which uh, uh, businesses can use on day one and really accelerate their pace of implementing some of these. Likewise, on the engineering side of assets, which is basically helping uh, uh, businesses again uh, exploit the power of cloud, we talk about the polycloud platform. All right, which is what we are investing on. We built over the last three, four years. Polycloud platform essentially helps businesses uh, manage the multiple clouds they have. Most enterprises today uh, will have more than one cloud provider and is a combination of public and private cloud. Management of all this in a seamless manner is, is a huge, uh, I would say, effort intensive uh, technology incentive activity for business. And this platform, which we talk about, Polycloud platform, completely takes away the complexity of the management. And the platform does the management and takes the complexity away from the business. So that's one platform which we're very excited about, which I think many of our customers are looking at to implement in this space. Uh, we are talking about workload migration platform, which again accelerates movement of workloads into cloud, thereby cutting down time to market. 
we're talking about again we have a, a infosys uh, data platform juniper x uh, which we use the power of uh, cloud and data analytics and one application i can think of is it can source data from multiple data sources we implement it for our financial services customer where uh, this platform is used uh, for detecting anti money laundering activities from huge amounts of data uh, 40 50 petabytes of data uh, end of the day uh, the platform can analyze and identify patterns so uh, essentially uh, cobalt uh, we have an inherent set of business assets and engineering assets. Uh, and and with these, we think uh, our clients can accelerate their own journey in the cloud and to the cloud. Today, we see two distinct phases. One is people migrating to cloud. And more importantly, today, moving rapidly in the cloud and implementing newer business models. And we think Cobalt will help us in both these journeys. Of course, requirement for any uh, digital transformation, cloud transformation today is availability of qualified talent. And, and uh, with the Cobalt and the cloud community we are building through Cobalt, uh, we're also increasing the uh, access to uh, qualified talent on cloud to our customers. So all in all, many benefits of Infosys uh, Cobalt. Uh, and, and we think our clients will definitely, clients will see definitely the value from uh, this platform and also help themselves and the business in terms of how best they can accelerate value, time to value using cloud. One of the biggest hindrance for people moving to cloud over the years has been this perception that uh, is cloud safe and secure. And, and I think over the years, uh, that fear has been addressed and, and to a large extent, enterprises are able to assure themselves and the stakeholders that cloud how it is safe and secure for their business needs and meets all compliance requirements. Now, when we talked about COVID and the uh, uh, faster adoption of cloud, uh, the biggest, uh, uh, again, uh, consideration is security. How best can I build in security into what I'm doing? And the unfortunate reality is during COVID, while cloud has helped in many ways for businesses to respond, equally, there are a set of mal actors in, in the society out there who are generating greater threats in the cyber world. Uh, and, and as enterprises move their workforce uh, greater to disperse locations using work from home, the surface of threat is increased dramatically with people accessing the corporate resources and data uh, from multiple devices, multiple places, multiple networks. But the threat is only increased coupled with the increased cyber threat, phishing attack, ransomware. Uh, security is a key consideration for uh, any business today looking at cloud as a transformation agent. And our, it is our belief that security is, can no longer be an afterthought. It is not about implementing a tool or a firewall. It's about something you're building from design. And, and that's what uh, we're also talking about as a strong uh, uh, pillar of any cloud transformation today, secure by design. And there again, we have our uh, cybersecurity platform, uh, uh, which is called CyberNext in process, uh, which addresses the wholesome needs of of cyber security of enterprises and which also addresses the security uh, uh, to be to be uh, built in by design i think building security by design is absolutely essential uh, we are all moving away from trusted networks to no trust networks uh, i think i think uh, by design we have to assume that uh, the networks and endpoints are no longer secure and build in enough protocols enough controls so that businesses can uh, perform their activities with the highest level of data integrity, secrecy, and making sure that their assets are protected. So security is a big element of uh, uh, what we are propagating in Cobalt. Uh, we have a number of assets. We have the CyberNext platform, which will uh, help customers mitigate this risk around security. But nevertheless, we strongly think security has to be built in by design. And that's what we are advocating our customers. If there is anything which we are very excited about in Cobalt is, is this whole notion of building a cloud community, which we are uh, trying to moderate and, and in some sense curate and uh, make it a value add offering to our customers and partners. Uh, end of the day, if you see today, the reality in cloud is most enterprises are going to be in a hybrid environment where they will have a combination of public cloud and private cloud. They're also going to be in a multi-cloud environment where they will offer force be operating with multiple hyperscalers and a combination of a private cloud. And given that, it's also important uh, that they have access to a community where issues around management of uh, public cloud, private cloud, multi-clouds are addressed uh, by a neutral uh, party with experience in this field and, and where solutions can be provided uh, as required. 
uh, we think this cloud community we are talking about, which has multiple components. It's about the assets which we have uh, curated assets which we have today. More importantly, we also intend to uh, increase the number of assets, curate more assets as we work with more customers, more businesses. We'll ourselves invest into uh, building those assets. Uh, uh, equally, we're also looking at partners, both in the startup ecosystem, both from technology partners, as well as academic institutions, to be part of the community and enrich the uh, asset base which we're building. We're also looking at inviting some of our strategy customers to be part of this cloud community where they have access to all the assets we build, as also they can contribute to this community so that all of us can benefit and uh, leverage the full power of our cloud. Uh, we intend to create uh, uh, create uh, uh, demo stations. We intend to create labs for our businesses to really build up pilots, uh, do proof of concepts, and then explore some of the new technologies on cloud uh, and, and expand it to a full scale. So this cloud community today starts off with uh, what we have in Infosys with 50,000 odd cloud consultants, 40,000 odd cloud assets. But we want to rapidly scale it to include various partners, like I spoke about, the startup ecosystem, the technology players, the academia, and most importantly, our customers. And with a view that all of this will help businesses ultimately uh, leverage the power of cloud in a more accelerated manner at a lower cost and, and gain the benefits of innovation at speed. If there is one thing today uh, businesses need to do is they need to do innovation at speed, at the same time, innovation at an economical cost. And that's only possible if they have access to innovation from various quarters and not necessarily every enterprise trying to innovate at their own time and cost because it's probably expensive. Uh, we believe a cloud community will help our customers and large enterprises to cut time to market on innovation, to cut costs on uh, innovation, and to also, in some sense, understand uh, the, the uh, more greater insights on what's happening around in the cloud world. So there are many benefits of cloud community. Uh, we've had some conversations with uh, some of our customers and analysts, and they are very excited about uh, the power of what it can do. And we want to really build it to be a very vibrant and strong community, uh, which is a win-win for every stakeholder who's involved in the cloud community. I believe that the time for cloud is now. It is no longer about uh, next year or next quarter. I think for most businesses, I think uh, uh, they have to look at how best they can leverage cloud uh, for many things. Uh, it's about leveraging the power of cloud for innovation, leveraging cloud for building resiliency, uh, innovating, I mean, leveraging cloud for reducing cost, uh, uh, for uh, leveraging cloud for improving uh, client experience, employee experience, and all stakeholder experience. So the uh, time for cloud is now. Enterprises should not, and I don't expect any of them to delay this anymore. We've heard of cloud for almost a decade now, but I think the time has arrived, it is now on cloud. The second thing which I want to talk about is, uh, I think uh, we are very, very clear that the world ahead is all about hybrid cloud, where uh, enterprises will leverage a set of uh, private cloud options as well as public cloud options. Uh, it will be about multi-cloud. There's probably not going to be any one hyperscaler who will dominate in any enterprise. Uh, if at all any enterprise has it, it's going to be far, few and far in between. We would expect most enterprises to be uh, in operating in a multi-cloud environment. No business out there wants lock-in, so we expect uh, players like Infosys to come and uh, help, uh, uh, in some sense, uh, uh, intermediate or disintermediate uh, this thing, and create lock-free uh, platforms for businesses to be able to freely move from cloud to cloud or move from uh, private to public and all of that stuff. We think that will be enabled. Uh, last but not the least, I think the full power of cloud will get further exploited at the edge, and now what we call the far edge. I think uh, technology will reach further and further into the real world. Uh, all of us hear about edge, but we also think it can go into the far edge uh, scenarios where traditionally technology has reached. And all of that uh, reach to edge and far edge scenarios is enabled by cloud. And, and so the power of, whether it's power of IoT, it's power of analytics, it's the power of uh, uh, any of the uh, 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 other technologies we talk about, uh, can only be amplified by leveraging cloud. And we think the cloud acceleration will continue to accelerate. I think next three to five years, uh, we will see dramatic uh, adoption increase. It's already very big, growing very rapidly. But I think uh, it's going to continue to accelerate over the next three to five years. But all in all, I think exciting time for uh, businesses because they have access to technologies like this, which can help them 
transform their business, be more relevant for their customers, and be sustainable in the long run. Uh, it's a great technology for uh, technology professionals like you and me uh, who are uh, in this industry, investing ourselves and building competencies into cloud is a great, uh, I would say, uh, advantage for our people's careers. Uh, last but not the least, I think it's a huge enabler in the society. If I just look at the uh, pandemic, uh, which is uh, all of us are experiencing right now, I can only imagine what it would have been without the power of uh, technology in general and cloud in particular. All of us operating remotely seamlessly with almost the same efficiency like before is only possible because of the power of uh, cloud and, and the associated technologies. So I think I think it's going to be very exciting. Uh, and, and like I said, cloud will continue to play a big part in every business and in everybody's life.